Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to inspect your car's battery and uh, hopefully you find out why your car has a slow crank, bad crank, or no crank, and it's just an erratic problem. And uh, what you want to begin off with is checking each battery uh, post and terminal to make sure that it's nice and secure including the wire that's connecting it to the car so this is the black one is the ground cable or the negative side so this has to be uh, nice and tight and I'm checking to see if there's any loose connections when I'm pulling on this if there's any hairline cracks aren't that that aren't making contact uh, or make a very poor contact and everything's nice and tight here now I'm gonna go check the positive terminal for the same exact thing which is I'm gonna check to make sure that the cable that's going to the starter and the uh, electronics of the vehicle is nice and tight. I'm going to gently touch this to see if I see any kind of play or uh, if there's a crack in the in the terminal here. Uh, I'm going to uh, see if I can visually see anything. And this is nice and tight. And so this battery is uh, is mounted in here correctly. It's got the original factory. Uh, hold down in place so it's not going to move anywhere in case you break or you accelerate or make a tight corner the way it's supposed to be. Let me show you on another vehicle. So this is the battery of another vehicle that I own that's actually mounted incorrectly. You can see it doesn't have the factory hold down and uh, it's just you uh, it has the strap right here that's holding it down and the strap itself is cracking here. It's not going to last too much longer and uh, it's got the correct negative uh, terminal on here um, and the negative terminal is nice and tight the wire is nice and tight but it does have a lot of corrosion somebody's had a uh, amplifier or, or uh, could be a car alarm installed in here in the past and they didn't clean it up so if I ever have a bad crank a slow crank or erratic crank or erratic starting I would want to check clean all these terminals up and then this is the positive terminal right here. And this is not the original one that it came with. You can see somebody's went ahead and, and changed it out. And uh, kind of did a makeshift job. Because they took the original uh, positive cable that I ran up here. And just uh, attached it to this terminal over here. So, But this is nice and tight. I don't have any starting problems with this vehicle. But if I did I would, I would go inspect the cables first. And... Uh, if you're having a, a slow crank or you, you can't quite seem to figure it out, I'm going to give you a little clue. If your battery died like once or twice and you jump started it and you thought you were okay, uh, I got to tell you these batteries, once they, uh, they go bad, they're really hard to recondition. Um, and so uh, this is my particular battery. It's in the green. Um, so I don't have any starting problems with this. But this is a low tester that I use. It's fairly inexpensive. I'll have a link to it below. And all it does is actually just checks the my battery to make sure that, uh, that it's performing the way it's supposed to. And I'll have another video linked up to this at the end that shows you how to use one of these. But uh, let me know what you guys think. What kind of problems you guys have with your cards. And give the video a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.